free. This one's the WWE champions. Pay to win like every day, yeah. I don't play ball games. Funny how they still think I'm a broke man. Then I'm broke. Even though I be pulling Hogan. Me. I spent like 40 grand on a couple thousand pictures of some sweaty men. So it continues. Like the stage isn't over. We've only beaten the first half. Now we have to do the next level of defilement, the next thing. Wow, this this stinks. I, I mean, I'm being honest. This is so boring. Like, <laughs> is it is it different from other stuff that I've played recently? Yes, for sure. But this is like so boring. So yeah, exactly. Apollo said, "I bet the whole game is this." Right. So likely, what it is is. Every stage is going to introduce some new enemies, but you'll have new troops. So you can put different kinds of troops around to stop certain kind of enemies. On one stage, you'll have flying enemies, so you want more archers. On another stage, it's more ground enemies, so you want more woodcutters or a guy to break guard or... You know what I'm saying? Um, And yeah, there'll be bosses, but... Dude, this... I'm sorry. This is, like, really boring. Like, And, and you saw we just stood there for, like, ten minutes as the enemies just kept coming through the gates. The same two enemies. That's all it's going to be. There's only two enemy types right now. It's like... I guess, yeah. Joel Law says what? It's just an elaborate tower defense game? I wouldn't even call it elaborate. It's just a tower defense game. Right? You know what? This is why in the advertisements that they had for the game... Or not the advertisements. Remember when they were showing it at like, like Game Fest and stuff? This is why they literally didn't show the real combat. Because they realized if they showed what the game really was, people were going to be like, that's not interesting. Right? Because <laughs> it's not. Because it's not interesting. It Wow. I mean, there's a zillion tower defense games out there to play. This is a mainstream one made by Capcom on a console with good graphics. But it's quite boring. Like, I don't know how... This game would work unless you're into this totally or you like you have a streaming audience that's used to it. Again, this was an experiment for me. I didn't know what the game was. I was curious because it was on Game Pass and it looked nice. But this seems to me like this is going to be so boring, time-consuming, just sitting around, killing five zillion generic enemies. You know, ugh. What do you guys think? I'm not kidding you. People in the chat are like, go, go play some Street Fighter. Wow. Which also was made by Capcom, incidentally. Yeah, I would say the art style and the music are great, but the gameplay elements are so boring that I can't imagine actually doing a playthrough of this. Like, already, I'm, one, I'm literally one hour in and I'm actually bored. After, like, the first stage, I'm like, okay, this is the tutorial. Now it's going to pick up. It's like, oh, here's the second stage. It's the same as the first. Exactly. Like, oh. Yeah, this is a Capcom game. It runs on the RE engine. <laughs> wow. Well, I guess they don't all work. Um, I don't even know what to say. This is quite boring to me and to the audience. Like, the people who are here are outright saying, yeah, this is kind of boring. Do something else. So I guess I got to listen. So if you like this game, check it out. Kunitsugami Path of the Goddess. Um, I think for me, that's going to be it. Like, honestly, I get like, it looks nice, but that's about it. Like, it's the only, that's actually the only thing I can say. It looks nice, and I like the soundtrack, but those gameplay elements are so dated and boring. I feel like I could have played this. Like, actually, you know, someone said Maximilian said if it's like a PS2 game. I mean, yeah, you could have totally played this game on PS2, just with worse graphics. But you absolutely could have played this on PS2. I I don't even see the point. Well, right? Like, now you know why this was a Game Pass game, right? And you know why they never actually showed, like, a blowout of how the game plays. That's why. <laughs> wow. Well. Uh, well, I guess that's it. I gave it a shot. I, I certainly was not expecting to be done with the game 
in an hour. I thought we would get more out of it than that. That's uh, that's pretty disappointing. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm uh, I'm not very happy with that. But at the same time, I didn't pay for it, so I guess it's fine. I guess this is the whole idea of Game Pass. <laughs> Game Pass game. You know what I mean? Like, okay, I guess we're done. Well. All right, well, for those who are here, thanks for those who were live. If you did watch it on demand this hour, let me know what you thought. Um, but, man, it just doesn't seem like anything that would appeal to me, right? Like, I would not want to sit here doing endless tower defense. That's not very fun. And I thought there was more to it. I thought it would be, like, a combination of factors. Like, imagine if it actually had, like, cool combat, like a Devil May Cry or something like that, combined with tower defense. Then maybe it could be something original and unique. But, no, it's like... Tap, 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 tap. Or, oh, here's more enemies. Tap, 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 tap. Wow. All right, guys, that's it. And it's Ugami, it's a dud. What else can I say? Sorry that, that it was so boring. And uh, at least I gave it a try. I hope you enjoyed. Wow. Yeah. Well, guys, again, I tried, guys. But I'll, I mean, I'll totally agree with you. I'm bored to tears. I literally don't want to play it anymore. So, I mean, what do you want to do? Elden Ring would be kind of stupid because what if I beat it? First of all, no one's here for Elden Ring. Like, the Elden Ring crowd is not here. The people who are usually here, who, who are, uh, you know, who like Elden Ring and contribute and, and support and, and give me advice and help me with builds, they're not here. Because they weren't expecting that that was going to happen. Right? So... I'm going to untangle my headphones. There we go. Yeah, I mean, we could do Street Fighter 6 ranked. Tonight, I'm doing Street Fighter 6 casual with Brian, but I could do some Street Fighter 6 ranked now for a couple of hours. I, I really don't even know what else to do. There's nothing else going on right now to really play. We could hang out for two hours. If you want to sit here and talk for two hours, we could do that. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, excuse me. No, I'm not. Guys, listen. I'm not buying any games now. Look, buy System Shock. I'm in the midst of a week. Yesterday was one of the slowest days I've had in months. Today, I have zero dollars in tips, and I only have two hours left on my stream. I can't buy games now, okay? <laughs> you understand? The idea is when things are going good, then you can purchase things. I, I can't buy a game right now. So I would say either Street Fighter or uh, just a chill session of hanging out. It's got to be one or the other. So. I don't know. You tell me what's going on, right? I don't know. You explain to me what the hell's happening right now. I have no clue. I People had asked me to try that. That's why I wanted to play it because it was on Game Pass. And people asked me, would you try it? I was like, yeah, I'll try it. I'm willing to give it a shot, <laughs> right? Yeah. I don't know. What do you want to do? No, not Game Pass Exploration now. What's the point of doing Game Pass Exploration now when we're not going to have time for Game Pass? First of all, we know we're not doing Kimitsugami. I think we can agree on that, right? No one likes that. So, <clears throat> Fallout 4 will be coming back. And that'll be the next thing. Um tomorrow right no elden ring is tomorrow uh, fallout 4 will do monday then right and i guess we need to find another game i guess it also depends on uh what happens with elden ring i might need another stream of it i might not beat it tomorrow you know we don't know i'm trying this new bleed build i don't know how that's gonna go <clears throat> No, I don't think that Q&A is going to work considering the fact you guys didn't have many questions for the podcast. I don't think that doing Q&A is going to work. I guess we're going to play Street Fighter. I don't know what else to say. We'll do some ranked Street Fighter now. Casual with Brian later tonight with Variety. And then uh, tomorrow, we go back to Elden Ring and, uh, and Riven, and then we go from there. Right? <clears throat> Right? 
I don't know what else to do. Let me uh change the camera. That was seriously so disappointing. Like, and you know what it is? That's exactly why they didn't show game real gameplay of that game ever, right? Not in any of those presentations or whatever. They literally not once showed the game because they were like, oh, if people see what this game really is, they're not going to be interested. <clears throat> I didn't know it was tower defense. I thought, like, you'd have that element, but I thought that there'd be more to it. You know what I mean? I didn't think it would be pure tower defense, like, with no real variation. Yikes. <clears throat> All right. Well, I guess I'm going to I'm going to post up on Twitter and on my main page that we're changing and I have to pee. Uh, excuse me. And then I guess we'll get started. Derek, if you if we're not playing the game anymore, how do you think it went? What do you what do you think? And I literally just described on stream what I thought of the game. Jasper, I have to pee, buddy. I have to pee. <laughs> You got some idiot named DSP who's a total piece of shit, by the way. I like to, I like to get that on YouTube.